What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to Statics. So let's solve this problem. So we're looking for the center of mass of this weird shape here. Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use our equation for the center of mass. So this equation tells us to break up our shape into different areas and find the center of mass for each and area for each. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have this kind of confusing shape here where we see one, two, three big shapes, but these L-shaped things are kind of hard to find the area and the center of mass of. So when we do these kind of center of mass problems, I like to break it up into the simplest shapes possible. And so what I did here is I drew it in a different way, but the most simple way possible. So I combined this entire top row into one long rectangle of 17 inches. So let's call this shape number one. Then this rectangle here kind of just became its own rectangle, call it shape number two. And then finally this bottom rectangle became shape number three. So this is the simplest way I was able to break it up. You could play around breaking it up into different shapes if you'd like, but this is what I went ahead and did. So now we have shape number one, shape number two, and shape number three. So let's go ahead and fill up this table. So we want to find the center of mass of each table, and the er, of each shape, and the area of each shape. And we're going to use those once we find this table. It's going to be super easy to plug into an equation here. So let's first find the center of mass of each shape. So the center of mass is we're starting at our axis here, which is our x-axis, and we're just gonna go up from there. So if we're looking for the center of mass of shape one, well, it's an inch thick, so its center of mass is going to be 0.5 inches from the bottom of the shape. But we know that it's 10 inches plus five inches to the bottom of the shape. So when we're finding y bar, it's from the bottom of the shape here. So it's gonna be 10 inches plus five inches plus half of an inch. It's going to give us 15.5 inches. So that's kind of confusing, but make sure that you're always counting from the bottom where you're taking the center of mass from, which in the shape it defines as from the x-axis. So now the area of the shape, well, it's 17 inches times 1 inch base times width, 17 inches. Cool, so the second shape, uh, let's see where the center of mass is. So it's 5 inches tall. So if it's 5 inches tall, its center of mass is going to be 2.5 inches from the bottom of it. So it's going to be 10 inches plus 2.5 inches, which is 12.5 inches. The area is going to be width times height, which is 3 times 5, to give us 15 inches. The final shape is 10 inches tall. So if we're going from the bottom, it's going to be 5 inches, because it's already on the bottom. So halfway up with the 10 inches is 5 inches. Now its area is just length times width, which is 10, because it's 10 times 1. So now let's do the math uh, to find the center of mass. So I'm going to scoot over there. So simply all we need to do is multiply this number by this number and add them up for each of the three shapes on the numerator. So y bar, here we have it. So it's going to be the y bar prime, which is the first one, 15.5, multiplied by its area, 17. Then we're going to add it to the next shape, which is 2, so it's 12.5 times 15. Then we're going to add it to the next shape, which is 5 times 10. And on the bottom, all we need to do is add up all the areas, so 17 plus 15 plus 10, just like the equation says to do. So I'm making sure I just did it all right. Yeah, so I did, so it's going to give us 11.9 inches if you do that all correct. And there you go. So that's how you find the center of mass of this shape here. So really, you can play around with breaking it up in your own shapes if you like, but Really the important part is breaking it down into its shapes and filling out this table. So I thank you for watching the video. Uh, check out my playlist for more statics videos and problems like these, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.